Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about fashion icons that are not necessarily fashion icons. And let me explain this whole concept. The thing is, I could talk about this for hours actually. So the main thing here is that I feel like in this whole fashion sphere, and there's a lot of social media surrounding it, there's just so much marketing and so much outside and outsourced uh, styling and like fashion uh, gossip and stuff that is surrounded about some people that I feel like this makes them look like they are the ones projecting the style and creating the style and so on and so on. And also, I feel like in this day and age, people are as they claim themselves to be. And if you know what I mean, like, I feel like whatever they say, it just becomes true just because they keep repeating this thing over and over again and other people are repeating the same thing. And then somehow it becomes like reality or it feels like reality to people. And to me, fashion icons are people in the media, actresses, whoever they are, models, whatever, throughout the fashion history, those were people and are people that had the ability to project their personality and their persona themselves within the instruments of style and fashion and clothing, accessories, etc., etc. Obviously, they could have had some help from stylists and photographers and so on, but they had this feeling of style and their personal style in themselves already and you could definitely see that and this is what i mean now when i'm saying and i've said this previously about this whole quiet fashion topic and quiet luxury topic that there's no such thing as actual quiet luxury and obviously there's no quiet luxury in the whole sophia ritchie wedding thing just because it's been marketed as a quiet luxury it doesn't mean that it actually is if you know what i mean so in the modern day and age i feel like it's really important to turn on the utmost capability of critical thinking that you can because there's so much marketing that is surrounding these people in the media that at some point you start questioning yourself if you're thinking this or if it's been projected onto you enough and enough times so that you start thinking these things <laughs> So to me, these people and people I'm going to be featuring are not style icons per se. They were created to be style icons. And all of these things are like carefully thought out plans to make them a style icon. So for example, there's an example of an actual style icon for me personally, and it doesn't mean that they do not have the ability or they do not use fashion stylists and personal stylists, for example. Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Yes, first of all, she had her style, her personal style evolution. And she had her bad days and her good days. All of us are going through that and have gone through that. Obviously, this is a part of one's growth and development, etc. And one's personal evolution and whatever that is. But the thing is, apart from the times that she's styled by a stylist, by personal styles and fashion stylists for the events, she styles herself and she knows who she is. And it's absolutely evident in what she wears. So to me, she is an actual style icon. And there's been so many of them throughout the history. And actually on my main channel, my Ukrainian channel, I had the whole like episode, a lot of episodes episodes about style icons and their personal style and let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do this specific topic over here on this channel describing and kind of dissecting people's personal style and celebrities personal style into a very like manageable and understandable things so that you could pick and choose what to ins be inspired by so that it could be more understandable 
accessible to the wider public. So to me personally, Rosa Hyde and Whiteley obviously is a style icon. I'd say Carolyn Bassett Kennedy is definitely or was definitely a style icon in her own right. She was definitely, she had her style, she felt who she was and she knew who she was and she expressed that perfectly in her clothes and she still inspires people years and years after that and actually it's really funny because I've made a video on her topic about her I'd say like three years ago or four years ago even before all the 90s craze and all the Carolyn Bissette Kennedy videos etc etc and even before the Rouge the Rouge brand campaign that kind of copied her and uh, her husband's photos and style etc so I did this all long before all of this craze happened about her style and she still inspires people and she will be inspiring people years and years after that because she was she was and she expressed that in her clothes so for example let's take Sofia Ricci and she's the first in my list because I'm actually just so triggered <laughs> by not her personally I feel like she's an amazing person she sounds like she's a very nice kind person she's beautiful etc etc but nothing about her says quiet luxury and there's nothing quiet about luxury first of all and second of all she does not necessarily have her personal style she's styled by a lot of people and she's surrounded by a whole team of marketers that actually created this whole Sofia Ricci era and it drives me nuts when time and time again I hear her name with the whole oh Sofia Ricci style oh the whole quiet luxury Sofia Ricci style oh Sofia Ricci way blah 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 there's no Sofia Ricci way this is such an obvious example of actual good but marketing to people and it drives me nuts that it actually like caught on to people and people got into that trap of marketing Sofia Ricci as a quiet luxury girl and like the it girl of the modern times if you know what I mean it's been done before with Hailey Bieber it's been done with uh, Kylie Jenner Kim Kardashian etc etc but with Sofia Ricci specifically it feels very very forced to me and let me know in the comments below if you're as petty as I am <laughs> it's just that to me, it's not natural. She's done whole 180 turnaround from what she was wearing previously to her actual style. There's nothing bad with that, but she's not an example of a style icon. She's wearing nice clothes, she's styled beautifully, but she does not exude this personal style, if you know what I mean. And it's amazing that she's partnered up with Chanel, and she actually looks amazing in Chanel, and her stylist does a great job in styling her in Chanel so that she doesn't look like too granny style in all the tweed and she looks very modern and beautiful and stylish etc but it's not like she's a style icon because she's basically like a model who's constantly worked on and styled on to me personally there's nothing that comes from within that she does herself to create this whole style icon emblema if you know what i mean the second person over here is a controversial one this is chiara ferrani she's one of the most first of all she's a pioneer woman in the fashion blogosphere she's done it all before everyone did it she's very successful she's been very successful su successful my god for ages she's beautiful she has an amazing family she blogs and posts whatever she wants etc but i would not say let's say first of all she does style herself most of the time but the issue with this for me is that I don't necessarily feel like she has a distinct personal style. She wears a lot of jewelry and she stacks jewelry, she has tattoos and that's part of her style, but other than that, she most of the time just wears whenever, whatever, and it's not necessarily like a continuation of a distinct style to me personally. Obviously, you can always argue and discuss this with me in the comments. Let me know in the comments below if you feel the same or if you feel like she has a personal style and let me know what kind of a style she actually has because I just feel like she's been working with partners and brands so much to a point 
where she kind of lost this whole vibe to her because she had a personal style to begin with when she started the whole blogosphere. She's been doing a lot of like grunge stuff mixed with classy stuff and that was her style but now she just does whatever and whatever like honestly Barbie, cute, latex, uh, dominatrix stuff, very classy, very Dior, like whatever brand she partners with she does that it she goes all in and she does like an all outfit she usually goes like very mono so if she goes let's say dior she wears all dior if she goes hermes she wears or delamares etc etc and she obviously is a wealthy woman she's earned all of that she's beautiful etc and she just tells everything with her Hermes collection bags and it's not necessarily also a part of something that I would consider a personal style per se but let me know in the comments below if you feel differently obviously this is not like something that I would like to push on people this is just my personal opinion the third person over here is a controversial one for sure this is Julia Fox and I feel like to me personally she's styled crazily and it's very distinct and it's very different but to me this is very forced because I feel like this is very like performative style it's not necessarily something that you wear because you want to wear it but this is something that you wear in order to attract people's attention and this is the only and first goal if you know what I mean because obviously where people or social people will like to attract attention and if you're wearing something something stylish you would like to be complimented on it you would like people to notice it's pretty obvious that we all would like for people to compliment us on what we wear and compliment our style there's nothing wrong with that but if this is the only objective that you have in styling yourself or in someone styling you to me this is an issue but I wouldn't say this is an issue no I'd say this is just something that does not coexist with a fashion style icon in my eyes and the last person I'm gonna talk about over here is Nicola Peltz I feel like Nicola Peltz is kind of the same in the same realm as Sofia Ricci I feel like she wanted to have the same approach as Sofia Ricci has now and she kind of had the same like vibe to her but just was not her moment per se but still I wouldn't say she has a very distinct personal style. She tried very hard to do the whole 2000s and 90s thing. She dyed her brows, she shaved her brows, and then she dyed her hair, etc., etc. And she's doing too much and so much at the same time that to me it doesn't feel very unique and very like her own thing. It feels like she's just trying to catch up with the trends. And at this point, it just doesn't feel very like honest with the public. So to me, this is not something that a fashion style icon would do. And it's not necessarily to say that everyone needs to be a fashion style icon. You do what you want to do, you wear what you want to wear. But to me, a fashion or a style icon is someone that is kind of unique in a way in what they do and how they do it with the um, items that they have so for example to me personally I'd say and I, I'd argue that Matilda Jerf even though she wears what a lot of people in the Scandinavian world wear she does it in her own way and she started doing it with the whole haircut and stuff long before everyone else and she stayed true to herself so I feel like in that specific way she's definitely a fashion icon you like her or not you have to just accept the fact that she was one of the first girls to do the whole style the mix of the 2000s and the whole 70s cut haircut and then the whole 90s aesthetic and the whole cottage core actually started with her so to me this is this feels very like authentic to her so rosie huntington whiteley definitely is a fashion icon in my eyes and matilda jerf is one and let me know in the comments below who you feel like has been a fashion icon or is still a fashion Fashion icon throughout the years or throughout the fashion history and obviously let me know in the comments below if you agree with me on that on this specific topic and with that in mind this is it for this video this is enough of me ranting for today and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye